Uh, hello viewers and welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, uh, sacral dimple. Uh, what is this? Uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, in that case you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and uh, you can find the link for the website just uh, below this video in the description area you know and once you click that button it will lead you to the website and uh, to subscribe this channel uh, there is a red button just below this video just click that one and then you will uh, see the bell icon so don't forget to click that bell icon as well you know so what does the bell icon mean is that uh, you will be notified whenever i upload the new video you know Thank you very much for watching this video. Now I come to the topic, what is, uh, what are the uh, sacral dimple, you know? You know, the sacral dimple is uh, an uh, like uh, indentation, you know, uh, which uh, uh, present at birth, you know, and uh, it's in the skin on the lower back, okay? So it's usually located just uh, above the crease between the cortex, you know. So the most uh, sacral dimples are harmless, and they don't require any treatment, you know. And uh, uh, they are accompanied by uh, a nearby, like, uh, uh, like tuft of hair, you know, or the skin tag, or the certain types of, uh, like, a skin discoloration, you know. And, uh, uh, like, uh, and sometimes it is associated with the serious underlying abnormalities of the spine or the spinal cord you know so in these instances your child's doctor may recommend an imaging test like mri or ct scan you know and if uh, an abnormality is uh, discovered then the treatment depends on the underlying cause you know and you know uh, it, you know the sacral dimple consists of an uh, uh, intendation you know and uh, uh, are kind of uh, indentation or kind of pit, you know, in the skin uh, on the lower back, and it's just above the crease between the vertex head stored, you know. Uh, it's a congenital condition, uh, which means that it's uh, presented at birth, and uh, uh, we don't know the reason why, what are the causes, you know. Uh, but rarely, these dimples are associated with the serious underlying abnormalities in the spine or the uh, spinal cord and they may include like a, a spina bifida you know or maybe a tethered cord syndrome you know so spina bifida is a, a mild uh, form of uh, uh, this condition it's called spina bifida you know and it occurs when the spine does not close properly around the spinal cord uh, but the cord remains uh, like within the spinal canal, you know. And uh, in most cases, the spina bifida called uh, causes no symptoms, you know. And the next complication is uh, like tethered cord syndrome. So in that case, uh, the spinal cord normally hangs freely uh, within the spinal uh, canal, you know. And uh, it's a disorder which occurs when the tissue attached to the spinal cord limits its movements, you know. And uh, the signs and the symptoms may include like weakness or the numbness in the legs and the bladder and the bowel incontinence, you know. And the risks of these spinal uh, problems increase if the sacral dimple is accompanied by uh, like uh, a skin tag or the certain types of skin discoloration, you know. The next thing is uh, what are the, how do the doctors diagnose this condition and uh, what are the treatment options once uh, your child is diagnosed uh, with uh, uh, sacral dimple, you know. You know, as I said, these are present at birth, you know, and uh, they are the evident during an infant's uh, initial physical examination, you know. And in most cases, uh, the further testing is uh, not necessary. And if the dimple is very large or is accompanied by uh, the skin tag or certain types of certain discolorations, you know, in that case, your doctor may suggest the imaging tests, 
to rule out any spinal cord problems, you know. And those tests may include like ultrasound or MRI, you know. And once diagnosed, uh, then the treatment uh, uh, for the simple uh, sacral dimple, the treatment is not uh, needed, you know, most of the time. And uh, in general, your child will need uh, to see a doctor for, uh, they don't need to see the doctor for uh, the treatment, you know. And uh, if you have the questions about the sacral dimple, you can uh, also bring these up at your child's routine uh, uh, doctor's visits, you know. And uh, your questions uh, you might want to ask uh, may include like, uh, does my child need any tests to be sure there's no other underlying cause, you know, or uh, uh, does the area need any kind of uh, uh, special cleaning or any special care, you know, or maybe uh, any necessary treatments or uh, any other serious conditions, you know. Uh, so mostly, as I said, uh, it's not, if there is no serious underlying condition, then treatment is not needed, you know. Uh, but if there is any underlying condition, then the uh, underlying condition need to be addressed. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Thank you and goodbye.